have the president of the Sedona Chamber of Commerce with us, Jennifer Wesselhoff. We also have Adam Grifford. He is the owner of Sedona Running and the official race coach for the marathon that we're going to be talking about right now. Sedona Marathon, uh, let's see, you register by September 18th. Is that how I'm reading this? By September 19th. Oh, okay. And you get the early bird pricing. Mm -hmm. The race is actually going to be Saturday, February 4th, okay. 2012. Ooh, nice. So if you register early, you'll also be entering to win a two-night stay in Sedona. Mm. So it's Excellent. important you know, to save time. For our audience that hasn't, haven't been to Sedona in February, it's beautiful mm. weather in oh, February. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Knock on wood, the mm. last six years we've had great weather yeah. for the marathon. So hopefully, keeping our fingers crossed, you know, at the Chamber of Commerce, we've got connections. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure it will be great this year, too. <laughs> Adam, a little bit about uh, Sedona Running. Uh, give us an overview here. Uh, we are Sedona's only um, running specialty store. And uh, we carry a full line of running shoes, running socks. Love the um, name. Hey, we, we try to keep it as original as possible. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, most important, what you get is expertise when you come in. So mm. people have questions. They don't know what to wear. They don't know where to run. They don't know what to do. They can come in our store. My fiance and I own it. Mm -hmm. um, and we have run every trail and every road in Sedona mm. many times over. Uh -huh. um, we can help them with whatever they need. To navigate it. There are so many people that are just breaking into running that really they, they put on some shoes and think they know running. But you'll actually help them understand it in a more complex way. It's, um, there, there's a science behind it. Um, it's still fun, despite mm -hmm. the fact there's a science behind it. Um, and yeah, we, we, we try to make it available to everybody. A lot of people are intimidated when they first mm -hmm. get into running. Um, and we want to let them know that it's fun. You do it for fun. This is an enjoyable uh, activity. Um, it doesn't have to be intimidating. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we have the marathon. We've got, there's a 5K race, which is right. 3.1 miles, a 10K, 6.2, half marathon, 13.1, um, for all levels and all ages. Do we encourage people who are going into running or think they want to or should, whatever, walking first to lead up? I, I mean, we just don't throw someone out there and say start running. I, I know we don't do that. <laughs> you don't maybe do we that. do do that. <laughs> well, maybe we do do that. Okay. <laughs> Evidently, I was absolutely wrong on that. <laughs> you can answer that. It, it definitely uh, depends on the background. If they have a background in athletics, um, they can always start running immediately mm -hmm. um, if they don't have an athletic background or if they've been um, sedentary for a long time. So work up to it maybe? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Go out there for a walk, go out there hiking um, and then slowly work into it. Adam, there's so many different types of shoes on the market today. Oh, yeah. I think that's where we could use your expertise because you you go in, there's 30 different types of shoes. What shoe, the beginner runner, what, what should they look at it, uh, for a shoe? Asking what to look for in a shoe is kind of like asking for what to look like in a car. With the, with so, so it's many, all taste. Um, and not so. No, <laughs> speed I think helps it means too. The, the foot. We're um, looking at the foot here to fit the foot. I would always suggest, and I'm not just saying this because we own a running store, but go talk to somebody that knows what they're talking about. Yeah. Um, because there's so much out there, and there are shoes that range from forty dollars to two hundred dollars. Um, and just because the shoe is $200 doesn't mean it's the right mm -hmm. shoe for you. Mm -hmm. um, you could hurt your feet with the wrong kind of shoe, absolutely. I would anticipate. Absolutely. Okay. Um, which is why it's always good to talk to somebody um, that knows what they're talking about. And the internet is a great tool. There are so many reviews that they can read mm -hmm. about shoes to kind of pinpoint a little bit more about what they want um, to get started. Jennifer, you're going to be running? I'm actually going to be running the race, <laughs> not running the race. Actually, I'm recovering from knee surgery. Um, what are you a runner, though? I have in, been a runner. Okay. I've run the half marathon here. Actually, run and walk. So okay. the important thing to know is that you can walk the 5K. We've had the youngest participant was three years old who walked the 5K to the oldest participant who walked as well. Did a walk-run combination, and he was 84. The scenery is not hard to look at. Oh. It's been ranked one of the most beautiful yes. marathons in the entire country. So it's definitely not a race that you'll do for time. It's a race that you'll do for beauty. Now you have drawn in the past Olympic competitors in this race. We have, yes. So it is, it's a destination. People mm -hmm. want to come to Sedona. They want to spend a few days here and be healthy. It's such a beautiful destination to mm -hmm. be outside. Hiking, biking, and running and walking is just Where's one the of start things. point so people know? It'll be in West Sedona near the Cultural Park, Yavapai College area. Okay. So. Uh, the decision to put this race in place, and I'm speaking years ago when this happened. The decision to do this, obviously Sedona's the most beautiful place to run. Mm -hmm. Decision, thinking behind this. 
Well, the Sedona Chamber of Commerce has taken ownership of the race um, a couple of months ago, so okay. it will be in its we, seventh yeah, year. I understand that. And originally when the race was brought to Sedona six years ago was primarily for economic development. Mm -hmm. In a time when we really need the business, February tends to be a slower time for us in Sedona. Right. In that first year of the race, we were able to increase sales tax and bed tax revenue over 50%. Wow. And it has only continued to climb, I would Mm -hmm. Imagine to grow and um, get more, you know, broader public mm -hmm. relations mm -hmm. and broader awareness. Yeah. And participation has continued to climb and then level and bring off. Bring everybody from all over. Adam, where are you located? Are you uh, we are in the Bashu Shopping Center in West Sedona. Terrific. And I'm understanding Thanks, Mindy should I be Mindy's handling publicity. If Mindy Mendelson is handling publicity, we are a surefire winner. <laughs> thank you <laughs> very you. much. We appreciate yes. it. We're excited. It's okay. going to be a great Jennifer, event. Jennifer, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lou.